In the United States, the term gender is used to express various identities, usually on a spectrum between masculine and feminine. It can be used to identify social and cultural differences, and it has little, sometimes nothing to do with our sex. Gender can be in our personal expression and in the words that we use. As English native speakers, we take a foreign language course in a romance language and we see gender in everything. This is called grammatical gender. Nouns are either masculine or feminine. Adjectives used to describe those nouns must agree with that gender and pronouns of inanimate objects are also gendered. In English, this does not exist. English does not have grammatical gender. But when we see a new car, we can say, isn't she a beauty? Ships and ocean liners are also referred to as she and the notion of death is understood to be masculine. So, as a linguist in training and a foreign language educator, this piqued my interest. I decided to conduct a case study on how conceptual gender in English has an effect on a bilingual's word choice when describing inanimate objects. I compared English monolinguals with two groups of Spanish bilinguals, one English native and the other Spanish native. Using the objects behind me, I asked my participants to first describe these objects freely and then categorize them either masculine or feminine. What's interesting to note is that these objects are already paired masculine and feminine in Spanish. So what I wanted to see was how Spanish bilinguals perceive these objects in English. Do they still continue to see them as either masculine or feminine? Will their native language have an effect on their descriptions of these objects with masculine or feminine qualities? And as a result, yes, it does. My participants showed that their native language did have an effect on how they used conceptual gender in English. The Spanish native bilinguals were more in line with the binary gender of Spanish, whereas the English native bilinguals were very similar to the English monolinguals of my study, meaning there was little rhyme or reason with their gender descriptions of the objects. So, like I said, this fascinates me, and the fact that I could conduct a case study on how people perceive language was worthwhile in itself. Regarding linguistics, my results show that our native language has an effect on how we perceive the world around us. This is important in the classroom, especially for English speakers of other languages, because English uses gender poetically, and not every language refers to the same object with the same gender. Understanding conceptual gender in English gives ESL learners an insight in how we as a society view and describe certain objects. Grammatical gender may not exist in English, but that still doesn't stop English native speakers and society from categorizing things.